If you've ever dreamed of moving to France to open a bed and breakfast in a quaint French town, this is the video for you. I'll show you three properties, one with four bedrooms, one with six bedrooms, and one with seven bedrooms that would be perfect for your B&B &B dreams. And the kicker, they're all priced under $150,000. I'm gonna give you all the details, so keep watching. Hi, I'm Tommy from TravelTirement.com. If you're considering buying property or living long-term in France or Italy, you should join me and over 2,000 others who get my newsletter each week. Sign up free at TravelTirement.com. The first property we're gonna look at is this former bar in Latus saint Remy, France. Before we get to the property pictures, I wanna show you where it's located in the country. But I will mention it's got seven bedrooms and five baths bathrooms and you are not going to believe the price. Latus Saint Remy is located in the VN department and as you can see here it's about midway between Poitiers and Limoges which are two fantastic cities. The VN department is in the southwest of France and both of these cities Limoges and Poitiers have high-speed rail connections. Latus Saint Remy even has its own train station which you could walk to from this property and you could be in Poitiers in just over 50 minutes. I only see a bakery right in the town of Latus, but if you look on Google Maps, you can see there are several restaurants within a 15 to 20 minute drive. And of course, if you reopen the restaurant in this bed and breakfast, you could be the restaurant in town. There are also several options for grocery stores very nearby. There are several medical facilities nearby, including a 24-hour hospital in Montmorillon, which we'll look at later. That's where another one of the properties is. Before we look at the property photos, let's jump down on Google Street View and have a look right around the property. Here is the main street that runs through town. And here we're looking away from the property, but I just wanted to show you that there is a bank, Credit Agricole here um, on the right. There is a convenience store. Looks like there is a restaurant a little bit further down and also a bakery. Now I'm going to turn around 180 degrees and look down the other way, which is where the property is located. Now we're looking the opposite way, and you can see the town church, which is very typical for these small villages, um, and also a little green area, maybe a park next door. Now we're going to jump down. just It's literally just a couple of blocks down past this church, and I'll show you where the property is. All right, now I've come down around the corner, and I've actually turned back around now. So this is the property on the left with the Heineken sign out front. You can see it was a, a bar downstairs and upstairs were the rooms that you, you could rent out. Anyway, I just wanted to show you how close it is to that church. Now let's take a look at the property photos and then I will show you what the price is. So here's a shot from the outside and if you look closely on this picture, you'll see that it is listed for 88,000 euros, which is just over $92,000 for this entire building. Here's a shot of the restaurant area inside. I did email with the agent on this property and he says that the furniture and the kitchen equipment he believes are included in the price of this property. I imagine turning a place like this into maybe like a theme bar. I know biking is popular in France and this town is actually located not too far from the Eurovelo 3 bike path. So maybe you could cater to cyclists. It includes this professional kitchen which has all the equipment you would need to run a restaurant. If you were gonna turn this into your personal residence, maybe you could just sell off some of this equipment. This is a separate area and I can't tell if it's meant to be just a place to entertain or like a lounge area. You can see there are couches and on this wall kind of behind where this picture's taken, there is a TV, but I'm not sure how it's arranged. Maybe this is in the very back of the building. Here's one of the bedrooms. And obviously you would wanna turn one of these spots into your uh, owner's residence and then have the others to rent out if that's what you chose. Here's one of the rental rooms. And one thing you'll see that's it's a little odd is it has this, it's a studio basically. So it has this shower and sink just right in the room. I don't know if it's big enough to actually build a little partition wa uh, wall there, but be something to consider. And here's just another one of the rooms with that same shower uh, in the corner. It may not be perfect, but for just over $92,000, there is a lot of potential with this. Now let's take a look at the next property. This four bedroom, two bath property is located just up the road from the one we just saw in the town of Montmorillon. And while this one is smaller, it does have much more in the way of amenities right around it. So let's take a look at those. The town of Montmorillon is quite a bit larger than Latus that we just looked at. 
and it's located right on the Gartant River, which I love having water nearby. Even though this property is slightly smaller than the one we just looked at, its proximity to the middle of town, you can see all the restaurants here, would probably make it a better option as an Airbnb. Or you could just turn it into your personal residence. Montmorillon does have that 24-hour hospital that's very close to this property and several options for grocery stores, including a Lidl and an Aldi. There is also a train station in Montmorillon, but it looks like it's about a 16-minute walk from the property. This house is located right here, and you can see it's a very short walk to get down to several restaurants and to the river. Speaking of the river, look at the, this view, which is just about a 10-minute walk from the property. You could walk down here every day and have a nice cup of coffee, stroll along the river, and look at this medieval town. All right, here's the property from Google Street View. And you can see it's obviously the, the building on the left is the main part of the house. But the property listing also says it comes with the garage on the right. And then through the gate, you see, is a gravel parking area in the back. Now let's take a look inside. Here's a shot from the outside. And it looks like everything is structurally pretty good. Probably some cosmetic things you would want to touch up on the outside. Here's the living room and it looks like it's in great shape. Beautiful wood floors. The kitchen area which has a window that opens up onto that back patio area where the gravel driveway is. Here's just another shot like we just looked at on Google Street View of that garage on the right that actually comes with this property. This view is from the gravel area in the back. This is the garage on the right and then it's got just this covered patio area where you could store equipment. You could probably put a little table under there and chairs if you wanted to have an outdoor eating area. Here's a shot of one of the bedrooms. You can see there's a fireplace included. I'm not sure if there's a fireplace in every bedroom, but we'll take a look. This looks like another bedroom also with a fireplace. And here's just another look of the back area that is gravel. And in this picture, the house would be to the left and that covered area where the bicycle was would be right behind us. This is one of the upstairs rooms and I do like the woodwork. Those floors on the bottom obviously look like they're original floors. It would be great to maybe refinish them and touch them up. And just another shot of the kitchen with, with that window to the outside and then a door that leads out to the gravel area where you could park your car. Seems to me like a good value for under $100,000. Now let's take a look at the last property. This property is absolutely gorgeous from the outside. It's listed as six bedrooms and three bathrooms. It does require some renovation inside, but I think you'll see it's got a lot of potential. The town of Chateau Mayant, where this property is located, is a little west of those other two we just saw. In fact, if you look up right here, you'll see Montmorillon. It is an hour and 45 minutes from the city of Limoges, but it's just an hour to the city of Bourges. It's just an hour and 40 minutes to get to the Puy de Dome, which featured prominently in this year's Tour de France. Now let's jump down to Google Street View and have a look around before we go inside and look at the property photos. There are several highly ranked restaurants all within walking distance of this property. There are two Intermarché supermarkets, one to the north of town and one to the south of town. The one to the south you may be able to walk to, but carrying your groceries back, you may need a car or get some local transportation. Now we're in what I would consider the center of this town. It's basically at a crossroads and the road to the right is the one where we're gonna go down to this property. But I just wanted to show you, again, typical French town, restaurant bar here on the corner. I see a bank and a lot of other shops down the street. Now we have come further down that road from the intersection where we were just standing. And the reason I wanted to show you this is you see there's this beautiful Gothic church, stone church here. It's just amazing looking. But if you'll look right above my head, you see this bright white building. That is the property that's for sale right across the street from this church. Here's just a different perspective of it. So you see the church right above me and the property for sale is that entire white building that's right over there. All right, now let's look inside at the property photos. This beautiful property is currently listed for 139,000 euros, which as of the making of this video is just over $146,000. I just love this classic French architecture. Obviously this garage is included in the sale of the property also, which is very nice. The bottom floor used to be a shop area of some type, and you can see there's some renovation that's already begun. Here's a shot of what I assume is the kitchen. 
Here's one of the bedrooms with nice, it looks like redone floors. I think this is just another angle of the same bedroom. There is this loft area up in the top, which you might call the attic, except I believe there are stairs that come up. So this is an area that could potentially be insulated and refurnished, and you could put another bedroom up here. The property listing actually mentions that this house comes with a second property. So there's the main house, the big white house that we've been looking at. And I believe maybe what we're looking at in this picture is the second property. It just says it is accessed from a different road. And it includes its own bedroom and bathroom and kitchen, I believe. As with all of these, I will put links to the actual property listings below. There's also this large yard that is included, which obviously you could clean up and do a lot with. It's quite a bit of space. And here's the final property shot. And you can see the properties on the left. And this is that main road with shops and restaurants. And that bar that we saw at first is right down to the right. You may be wondering, what are the taxes I have to pay if I'm using one of these places for an Airbnb and getting income? And you're in luck because I made a video just for that and you can watch it right over there.